Welcome class 12 lesson lost to spring by any jung welcome class 12th we are going to start the second lesson of flamingo stories of stolen childhood and the name of the lesson is lost to spring as the title suggests that it tells about the childhood of someone so who are they what is their childhood and how they lose their spring spring is the name of a season lost spring as the title suggests that someone's spring is lost the spring is the brightest the most we can say the happiest season of all so once you do not enjoy the spring means you have not enjoyed that year so someone there is a time in life as well that can be compared with the spring and usually people believe that childhood is the spring means most happiest happiest part of the life so the stories of these stolen childhood means they have no childhood where have gone their childhood means where have their childhood gone we will find out so the writer is uh, the anis uh, uh, jung is the writer so anis jung 1964 was born in raurkela and spent her childhood and adolescence in hyderabad she received her education in hyderabad and in the united states of america her parents were both writers any jung began her career as a writer in india she has been an editor on and a columnist for the major newspaper in the india and abroad and has authored several books the following is an excerpt from her book titled lost spring so about any jung the writer of this story stories of stolen childhood or lost spring she was an indian writer eminent indian writer born in 1964 raur kela mein uska uh, uski birth hui एंड चाइल्डहुड और एडल्सेंट्स जो उसकी एज थी बचपन और उसके बाद का टाइम एजुकेशन का उसने हैदराबाद में स्पेंड किया अपनी एजुकेशन भी हैदराबाद से ली एंड यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स ऑफ अमेरिका सी ऑल्सो वेंट देयर टू गेट हर हायर एजुकेशन उसके पेरेंट्स मीन्स फादर एंड द मदर बोथ वर राइटर्स एंड आफ्टर एनी जंग बिगेन हर कैरियर एज ए राइटर इन इंडिया सी एज बिन एन एडिटर एंड कलमिस्ट एंड द मेजर न्यूज पेपर इन इंडिया एंड अब्रॉड इंडिया और अब्रॉड में जो बड़े बड़े न्यूज पेपर थे उनमें वो एडिटर रही कलमिस्ट रही मीन्स ए बिग नेम इन द न्यूज पेपर्स कलमिस्ट और जो एडिटर होते हैं दे आर कंसिडर्ड द वाइज पीपल द इंटेलेक्चुअल्स एंड दे राइट ऑन द टॉपिक्स एंड ऑल्सो मेक सम एडिशन वर्क दे यूज टू एडिट द न्यूज पेपर्स इन ऑल दैट so the following an excerpt from her book titled lost spring the stories of stolen childhood so ye uski book hai lost spring aur aage here the wahan se ye lesson liya hai this is a part of that book here she analyzes the grinding poverty and tradition which condemned the children to a life of exploitation apne is book mein वो जो राइटर है वो सी राइट सी एनालाइज सी फाइंड्स आउट द ग्रैंडिंग पोवर्टी एंड ट्रेडिशंस एक तो पोवर्टी है ऊपर से ट्रेडिशंस हैं एंड इन दीज टू थिंग्स गोइंग टुगेदर ग्राइंड्स द चाइल्डहुड ऑफ चिल्ड्रन और वो फिर कॉन्सिक्वेंटली क्या करते हैं दे लिव अ लाइफ ऑफ एक्सप्लोइटेशन एंड पोवर्टी पोवर्टी और ट्रेडिशन की वजह से दे आर ऑलवेज exploited so this is the theme of the story who are the children whose childhood has been st stolen and who are being grinded between poverty and traditions so we'll find out kuch word hum isme sikhenge looking for perpetual state of poverty slog their delight hours dark hutments roof over his head impose the baggage on the child so these are the terms we will come across we will get it explained and so i will explain these terms to you when they will come in particular context so the first one is the first story something i find a rupee 
sometimes i find a rupee in the garbage so this is the first story ki wo kabhi kabhi garbage mein kya karta hai he finds one rupee note or coin so you can understand whom the writer is talking about in this story so one who is scrounging the garbage one who is going through and just searching the garbage to find something valuable means junk dealer so why do you do this i ask sahib whom i encounter every morning scrounging for gold in the garbage dumps of my neighborhood sahib left his home long ago set amidst the green fields of dhaka his home is not even a distant memory there were many storms that swept away their fields and homes his mother tells him that's why they left looking for gold in the big city where he now lives so once i met means the writer or the narrator met to a young boy who was searching a rupee note in the garbage and asked him why do you do this why do you come to this garbage dumps and why every day you scrounge it scrounge means means when you just uh, search something in a heap you just separate the things to find out something from a heap of things ek bada sa dher hai usme kuch dhoond raha hai every morning for gold gold means valuable yahan gold ki meaning kya hai the meaning of the gold is valuable in the garbage dumps garbage dumps are always we can say useless but they even get something you useful in that garbage so uh, something that they can sell in the market and the garbage dumps was close to the narrator's home that was the neighborhood sahib left his home long ago he was shifted to that place that was not his original home uska नेटिव होम कहीं और है साहेब का सेट एमिड द ग्रीन फील्ड्स ऑफ ढाका हिज होम इज नॉट इवन अ डिस्टेंट मेमोरी हिज होम इज सेट हिज होम इज सिचुएटेड इन ढाका डिस्टेंट मेमोरी मीन्स इट इज नो वेयर ऑलमोस्ट नो वेयर इन द मेमोरी ऑफ साहेब बिकॉज दे हैव शिफ्टेड टू दैट प्लेस दिल्ली लॉन्ग एगो देयर वर मैनी स्ट्रोम्स दैट स्वेप्ट अवे दियर फील्ड्स एंड होम्स हिज द मदर टेल्स हिम उसकी मदर मीन साहिब मदर टेल्स टू साहिब दैट देयर हैड बीन सो मेनी स्ट्रोम्स स्ट्रोम्स स्ट्रॉन्ग विंड जो होती है तूफान ढाका बांग्लादेश कोस्टल एरियाज में जो आते हैं फ्रॉम द सी कॉल्ड स्ट्रोम्स देयर वर मेनी स्ट्रोम्स दैट स्वेप्ट अवे देयर फील्ड्स एंड होम्स हिज द मदर टेल्स हिम होम्स और फील्ड दोनों को स्वेप्ट अवे वॉस्ट अवे बाई द स्ट्रोम्स सारी मेहनत स्ट्रोम्स ले जाते हैं दैट इज वाई दे लेफ्ट looking for gold in the big city where he now lives so they left their village in the dhaka and they have settled to some new and big cities where they could earn something without the fear of any storms i have nothing left else to do said when the when the writer when the narrator asked him why do you do that why do you do this garbage thing on all that so sahib replies i have nothing else to do so i cannot do anything else i have no other thing to do he mutters means to speak in a low voice he speaks to himself looking away go to school i say glibly realizing immediately how hollow the advice must sound so i told him i said him go to school why don't you go to school i said this glibly so with some sort of you know when you are in a in a in a situation you are not confident enough that someone will attain that glibly realizing immediately how hollow the advice must sound and then i realize immediately quickly i re- i realize that my advice is very hollow not very strong for him it is a hollow advice that has no base uska school hi nahi tha there was no chance of getting school for such a, such uh, student or children there is no school in my neighborhood when they build one i'll go to sahib jawab deta 
in his neighborhood there is no school if someone builds a school in his neighborhood i would like to go there if i start a school will you come i ask half joking in a kidding way in a joking mood she asked to saheb if she starts a school will he come yes he says smiling broadly so the narrator so a broad smile big smile on his face he said yes a few days later i see him running up to me is your school ready so after a few day sahib came to me running and he asked me he rem- he reminds me about my promise to him that the narrator is going to open a school so it takes longer to build a school i say embarrassed at having made a promise that was not meant so i told him no school is not ready actually it takes a long to build a school it is not a matter of one or two days it takes a long time to build a school so right now there is no school but promises and and she felt at the same time a kind of embarrassment embarrassed means embarrassed means a feeling of a bit anger and humiliation together embarrassed when you get some irritation and some sort of insult and feeling shy not comfortable position embarrassment embarrassed at having made a promise that was not meant because i had made a promise to that boy which was not to be fulfilled by me by the writer so she felt embarrassed but promises like mine abound in every corner of his bleak world but the promises like i have made to the saheb abound or in a great heap or in a great deal in every corner of his bleak world his dull world means the in this line the writer says that the poor people have so many promises with them unfulfilled promises so they they are used to of listening only promises nobody comes really to help them after months of knowing him i ask him his name saheb alam he announces he does not know what it means if he knew its meaning lord of universe he would have a hard time believing it unaware of what his name represents he roams the street with his friends an army of barefoot boys who appears like the morning birds and disappeared at noon so after months of knowing him means we have been acquainted for months the writer and the sahib to dono acquainted ho gaye the familiar ho gaye the jaan pehchan ho gayi thi months ki i ask him his name so suddenly i ask one day i ask the name of that boy he told the name of the boy is sahib alam he announced declares he told he tells his name he does not know what it means and the writer thinks that the sahib doesn't know the meaning of his word what is the meaning of sahib alam if he knew its meaning lord of the universe the meaning of sahib alam is actually the lord of universe sahib alam alam means universe sahib means lord he means of so the god of universe the lord of universe the master of universe as house ka meaning hai agar wo aisa janta he would have a hard time believing it means he would have not believed that this should be a right name for him how can he be the lord of universe even if he is struggling for a bread a piece of the bread unaware of what his name represents he roams the streets with his friends an army of barefoot boys who appears like the morning birds and disappear at noon so he was unaware of his name meaning represents uska naam kya represent karta hai what is the meaning of his name he is unaware of this he roams the streets with his friends wo apne friends ke sath un streets mein roaming karta hai roaming means going here and there with his friends an army of barefoot boys who appear like the morning birds and disappear at noon he roams in the street with his friends an army means a group of barefoot boys a boys who means a group of boys without 
एनी स्लीपर्स और फुटवेयर किसी तरह का भी फुटवेयर नहीं है शूज नहीं है स्लीपर्स नहीं है गोइंग बेयर फुट बिना स्लीपर्स और शूज के हु अपीयर्स लाइक द मॉर्निंग बर्ड्स एंड द राइटर कंपेयर्स द ग्रुप ऑफ चिल्ड्रन द ग्रुप ऑफ बॉयज लाइक द मॉर्निंग बर्ड्स who appears in the morning and disappear at noon and you can see them going here and there in the fields on the roads in the streets everywhere up to the noon only in afternoon they are in the afternoon they are disappear kai gayab ho jate hain jaise birds hoti hain morning ki over the months i have come to recognize each of them ek mahine mein hi main उन सब से मेरी दोस्ती हो गई मीन सी सेट दैट आई हैव रिकॉग्नाइज दैम वाई आंट यू वेयरिंग चप्पल्स आई आस्क वन मीन्स वाई डू यू रोम बेयर फुटेड वाई डोंट यू वेयर द चप्पल्स माई मदर डिड नॉट ब्रिंग दम डाउन फ्रॉम द शेल्फ आंसर सिंपली आंसर आया आई हैव चप्पल्स माई मदर हैज पुट माई चप्पल्स इन द शेल्फ means the poor people used to wear such thing on occasions when they have to go somewhere in their party wear something like that till then they keep the things locked in the almirah and shelf so he tells that my shoes are kept in the shelf by the by the mother of the boy even if she did he will throw them up at another who wear shoes that do not match aur usne devi diye kabhi nikal ke so he will throw them off throw them off means he will not wear the chappals because if you do not wear the shoes or chappal regularly you feel uncomfortable with the slippers and chappals and shoes so agar mil bhi gaye kabhi to ye kya kar deta hai unko fenk deta hai dusra boy bolta hai when i comment on uh, and the and, and the boy who told this was wearing the shoes and his shoes were of different color means both the shoes were different size and color not the same pair ek kisi aur pair ka shoes pehna tha dusra kisi aur pair ka as if someone has given to him or he has found the pair of means we cannot say the pair the two different shoes in the garbage shayad aisa usse mila so jab usne comment kiya the writer says that why are you wearing these different shoes of size and color when i comment on it he shuffles his feet at says nothing so when i comment on his shoes he shuffles shuffles means he just to change the position he just to put the weight from one leg to another leg aise ek dusre pair ko move karna apna weight shift karna yahan se wahan shuffling ka ye meaning hai to to matlab mix up something his feet and says nothing thoda sarma gaya I want shoes," he says. A third boy, who has never owned a pair all his life. The third boy said, "I also want to have a pair of shoes. I have never had a pair of shoes." So that was the statement of a third boy who has never owned owned means have had a pair of shoes in his life. traveling across the country i have seen children walking barefoot in cities in village roads it is not lack of the money but a tradition to stay barefoot is one explanation i wonder if this is only an excuse to explain away a perpetual state of poverty so the third first boy was barefoot second boy was having the different size and the color shoes not the perfect pair third one has a desire to wear a pair of shoes so traveling the writer feels the the this narrator have wo feel karta hai kya karti hai traveling across the country i have seen children walking barefoot in cities on village roads i have seen across the india there are children walking without food without sorry uh, footwear Uh, in cities or even in the village roads it is not lack of the money but a tradition to stay barefoot is one explanation and when you ask the people why you are not wearing chappals and shoes so the explanation they give to you is that it is their tradition not the lack of money money ki koi kami nahi hai unhe ye sab bolte hain ki it is not because of the money it is because it is our tradition tradition means 
दिस इज आर रेगुलर हैबिट फ्रॉम द पास्ट कस्टम है हमारा रिवाज है नंगे पाँव रहना आई वंडर इफ दिस इज इफ दिस इज ओनली वन एक्सक्यूज टू एक्सप्लेन अवे अ परपीचुअल स्टेट ऑफ पॉवर्टी एंड आई वंडर मीन्स आई थिंक दिस इज द ओनली एन एक्सक्यूज टू एक्सप्लेन दिस इज द एक्सक्यूज दैट दे कैन एक्सप्लेन अबाउट देयर परपीचुअल परपीचुअल मीन्स समथिंग दैट लास्ट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम परपीचुअल जो लंबे समय से चली आ रही है स्टेट ऑफ पॉवर्टी सो दिस इज एन एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर इट so we have done this first part we will go with the second part the next time so till then you make the notes or write down question and answer or write down the hard words and uh, do it in your fair notebook i'll check it on the next time so till then goodbye